How to extract data from a website to display it inside of your Flutter app. Firstly, we need to import the HTTP and HTML packages. Next, we call a method to get the website data. We load the data from Amazon.com using the HTTP package. Let's also go to this website URL. On this website, right click on any element that you want to extract and then select inspect or inspect element. With this, the HTML source code of this website is opened and it automatically selects the title. Simply right click on the spend tag and then choose copy and copy selector. Do you want to learn Flutter in a better and faster way? Then simply join our 12 week Flutter training on heyflutter.com where you master all the Flutter topics such as Dart, UI design, state management, Firebase, clean architecture, databases and so on by watching our structured courses that help you for each topic to go from a newbie until an expert level in Flutter. Next, back in the IDE, we want to query this HTML source code by pasting the query selector inside. And from the span element that we get back, we extract the inner HTML code. Lastly, these extracted titles, we print then to the console. In our case, zero elements were found and you can simply solve this issue by removing some part of the query. So I remove the first part of the query. With this, we found 16 titles that we print to the console. Next, we want to save these 16 titles inside of an article list. Therefore, let's create this article list inside of our method and we generate based on our titles this articles. So we create an article and put our titles inside of each article. And lastly, we only need to display these articles inside of our UI. So for each article, we display a list tile where we display then the article title. Next, we want to extract this link if we hover over this text. Again, right click on this element and click inspect element. The URL link is inside of the parent tag A and here you see this href attribute that we want to extract. Again, right click on this element and choose copy and copy selector. Again, we query over our HTML source code and then paste the query selector here inside, which I have already shortened. And from this A tag, we access then the attribute that holds our link. In this case, the link that we extracted is a relative link. Therefore, let's also put the domain name in front of this link. And lastly, we only need to put these URLs inside of our article. And then we go to our UI and display then this article URL. Let's also extract this image, right click on it and click inspect element. It automatically selects the image tag. Inside of it, we have the source attribute where we want to extract the image link from. Therefore, again, right click on this image tag and click on copy, copy selector. Again, query the HTML source code and paste the query selector inside. From this image tag, we want to access the attribute source where the image link is saved inside. Finally, put these image links again inside of your article. And within the UI, we display then this image. Every website has an HTML source code with many different tags. Inside these HTML tags, we have the website data that we want to extract to our Flutter app. We use selectors to get this website data. In this case, we select all tags with the name h1 or select only the second h1 tag. If the HTML tag has a class attribute, you could select it by using a dot followed by the class name. Or if the HTML tag has an ID attribute, you could select it by using a hashtag followed by the unique ID name. Also, you could get all H1 tags that have an attribute called name. Optionally, check if the name attribute has a specific value. Next, you could select all H1 tags that have a direct parent tag A or select all h1 tags that have at some point a parent tag A. In our case, we want to fetch some titles and images from a website, therefore create a method and inside of it, we load the website using the HTTP package. Let's also go to this website. On this website, right click on the element you want to extract and choose inspect element. With this, automatically the HTML tag is selected that holds our title. Next, you can right click on this element and choose copy selector. This selector will only select this specific title. 
However, we also want to select other titles. For example, this title here, it is again an A tag and around it we have an H2 tag. So we can shorten the selector. We choose H2 tags that have inside of it an A tag and this H2 tag has a class name postcard title to make it even more precise. Do you want to have your Flutter app, website or backend server completely developed in a high professional manner instead of developing it on your own? Then simply go to heyflutter.com slash app and we will develop this app for you. Back in the IDE we import the HTTP and HTML packages. Next we get the HTML source code of this website. We query this website using the selector that we have determined before. From the selected HTML tag we want to get the inner HTML code. With this we have all the titles from this website that we want to save within our state. And lastly we want to display these titles in our UI. Therefore we create a list view and inside the item builder we display then each of these titles. Next on the website right click on the image that you want to extract and choose inspect element. This will automatically select this image tag that has inside the source attribute this image link. Again, right click on this image tag and choose copy and copy selector. Again, the selector will only select this single image. However, we also want to select the other images. Therefore, we shorten our selector again. We choose A tags that have inside of them image tags. And to make it more precise, the A tag has the class name postcard image link. Back in the IDE, we select from the HTML source code all images using this determined selector. From the image tag, we get the source attribute. And lastly, we want to display these images, therefore we save them in our state. And within the build method, we get each image. And lastly, we display them inside of our UI, these image widgets. The most important part is most websites use JavaScript and they show a loading indicator before displaying the data. If you disable JavaScript, then you see the HTML website that our Flutter app is fetching. Therefore, we want to look at how we can get the HTML code after JavaScript has modified this web page so that we can fetch all of this information. For this, we use this example website where our Flutter app always fetches the not JavaScript version. On the other hand, normal browsers also load the JavaScript and with this, it modifies the data of our website. Inside your Flutter app, you could use a web view to load the JavaScript version of this website. In our case, we hide the web view. However, it still needs to be inside the build method. Next, once the JavaScript website is loaded, then we also load the HTML source code and we put the HTML code into a new method. This HTML string you convert to an HTML document and then you can query this HTML document as we have done before. And now we save this title inside of our state. And lastly, we display then this title inside of our UI. With this, the data from the JavaScript website version is displayed.